Hi, I'm Chloe and this is... Jodie, hello. We're from The Lol Word and today we're going to be doing a quiz uh, about the history of lesbians. Okay. So, Jodie, first question. Who was Anne Lister and where did she live? Okay, Anne Lister, professional lesbian, very important historical lesbian figure, wrote yep. lots of diaries, combination of ancient Greek and maths, all very impressive. Can't, I feel... can't remember where she lived. <laughs> Okay, cool. So you remember all of the integral stuff about the Greek and Roman, but you can't remember? Yeah, I read them on my Kindle when I was 16 and closeted. And, and she didn't um, mention where she grew up? She extensively mentioned it. Okay. What I remembered <laughs> is the sex bits. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've taken the important parts away from it. Yeah. Would you like me to give you a clue? Please. So they talk like this where she comes from. Yorkshire. Correct. And then more specifically, the place in Yorkshire that she comes from is a bank... Halifax. It was Halifax, yeah. And then can you specifically remember the house in which she lived in Halifax in Yorkshire? Shipton Hall. Yeah! Yay! A point for that? Half point? I think half point. Half point. Most. The Stonewall Riots are famous for being led by Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera, but who was the other lesbian... Ellen DeGeneres! <laughs> 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 Stormy de la Verie. So they're a butch club. Oh, lovely. Who did drag and may have thrown the first punch. Zero point one for effort and for owning your lack of knowledge. This is such a lesbian quiz it's that really we're getting isn't it? getting rewarded for. <laughs> <laughs> well done for complete ineptitude. <laughs> Which island once sought an injunction to try and stop people from using the word lesbian? What? There's an island that did that? Yeah. <sighs> Apparently. Basically the island where the word lesbian comes from. <gasps> Lesbos? <laughs> what? Can I swim there on your back? Oh, so could you swim as there with me on your back? <laughs> yeah, I think I could. I'm a very strong swimmer. I have broad shoulders. Yeah. True or false? A group of lesbians once abseiled into the Houses of Parliament and made it onto live TV. I was hoping that you was going to say true or false, a group of lesbians is called like a gaggle. <laughs> a gaggle of lesbians. What would it be what, called? Our collective, a... Uh, a quim of lesbians. A quim of lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to say true. And you'd be right, Chloe Petz. Thank it is you. true. They were protesting against Section 28, which in 1988 banned anyone talking about being LGBT in schools and libraries in the UK. Good old those lesbians, well done, getting on lesbians. live TV. When was the first lesbian kiss on UK TV and what show was it on? <sighs> Been waiting all my life for this question. Wait, was it Bad Girls? No. <laughs> Brookside, mate. Oh, what? Brookside? Yeah. Groundbreaking. Thank you, Brookside. Which country elected the world's first openly lesbian prime minister in 2009? Oh, balls. Denmark. No. Sweden. No. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> What would you put in a cold drink? Iceland! Dab! Yes. <laughs> no, but good old Iceland! No, good old Iceland. They elected Joanna Sigurd. Lumley. Oh. Daughter. Imagine <laughs> if she was one of us. That would be absolutely fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> when was the first known lesbian organisation founded in the United States? That's a very hard question. Okay, was it Stonewall? No, it was not. <laughs> Was it the Ellen DeGeneres Foundation for Lesbians? Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. The 1960s. <clears throat> the 1970s. <clears throat> 50s. Yes. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> it was Daughters of Belitis was started in September 1955. They threw lesbian parties and faced violent threats and police raids. Sounds, I mean, Hard and dangerous, but also incredible. Great name. Should we create a queer band called Daughters of Belitis? <laughs> <laughs> it's just spells with bagpipes. Yeah, probably. <laughs> M stigma. <laughs> Ooh, interesting one. Which lesbian novel was banned by British courts for being obscene because it defended unnatural practices between women? Was it a Virginia Woolf? No. Oh. Not one you should read after a breakup. Not one you should read if you're sad. Vita Sackville West. <laughs> Similar vibe. It's the well of loneliness. What 
The poo. Oh my god, this is an amazing one. True or false, there is a Swedish town of 25,000 lesbians who don't speak to men. Where? Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say true, just because I want it to be true. Is it false? I feel like I'm in my own well of loneliness because it's false. But a Chinese news agency once bizarrely reported this saying, if men transgress into the forbidden city, they will be beaten half to death. The citizens of Chaco Pool are mostly engaged in the forest industry because of, su because of such, many of the women wear thick belts full of woodworking equipment. I mean, it sounds great, doesn't it? I'm gonna start calling my vagina the forbidden city so that men know they're not allowed there. I have 1.1, 1 .1, you have one and a half. This is the final question, so this is this is all or nothing. This is the make yeah. or break. I don't know if you'll know who this person is. Is it Ellen DeGeneres? Please, please, is it? <laughs> Lesbian comedian Ellen DeGeneres came out in 1997, but how did she come out? Stand-up special. Okay, actually, that stand-up special came out after she came out. Oh, I know! Yeah? It was in her show, Ellen. Okay, that was actually after she came out. It was on a magazine cover. Yep. Vogue. I love if it was Vogue. <laughs> Pink News. Do you know what it said on the cover of Time magazine? Ellen DeGeneres, Big Leather. Yeah. <laughs> it said, yep, I'm gay. Congratulations. Thank you so much for having us. This has been the Lesbian History Quiz.